Hi, I'm Gregory Brown. I'm a partner and business trial lawyer with the law firm of Brown and Charbonneau. Today, we're going to talk about another contract issue. That is mistake of fact in contract disputes. This issue is something that not too many people know about and can really affect whether a contract will be deemed void, valid, or avoidable. And the California Civil Code gives you the definition of it in section 1577. Now, what does that mean? The best way to describe it is to tell you about a case that we just worked on. Our client had a contract with a broker for the sale of a $2 million piece of real estate, but they were also trying to lease it at the same time. So there was a second contract for a listing agreement for the lease of the property. What happened next is the client and the broker had a falling out and the client wanted to cancel the contract, but the broker had to agree. So the client told the broker, I want to cancel both the listing for the sale and of the lease of the property. The broker responded with an email and said, here's the proper form to cancel the listing and didn't distinguish between the two and didn't identify that what was really going on was our client was just canceling the lease listing, but not the sale listing. The client signed the contract and sent it back and assumed everything was canceled. So they hire a new broker who sells the property quickly, of course, and they pay a $100,000 brokerage commission. However, during escrow, the prior broker comes back and says, well, wait a minute, I have an exclusive listing and I'm entitled to my $100,000 commission. At our binding arbitration, our defense was unilateral mistake of fact, because our client thought that the broker was sending her cancellation of both sale and the lease listing. Now the broker knew he wasn't canceling both and took advantage of his knowledge that our client thought she was only canceling one of them. To prevail, you have to have a situation where one side takes advantage of the other who does not know a certain fact or believes something is true that is in fact not. In our case, the client believed that both the sale listing and the lease listing had been canceled. The broker knew of her false belief and took advantage of that fact. So that's the doctrine of mistake, and particularly in our instance, unilateral mistake. And in our contract series, we'll talk about a few other defenses that are not well known, but can be very potent and powerful in defending breach of contract cases. If you have any other questions about contract issues or other business disputes, Call us today at 714-505-3000 or email us at inquiries at bc-llp.com. Thank you.